Hello fellow survivors, builders, and explorers. This is Sypha, and thank you for coming by and joining me on my final base tour of my ultimate map. Boo. Okay, basically what's going on is that, uh, you know, my button to switch modes on my jetpack isn't working, so you'll probably have to deal with me slamming into the ground from time to time. But anyway, I am, uh, I haven't been on this, uh, this map for, oh wow, I don't know how long. And I'm not going to play it again. It's 1.47, so I had some really fond memories here. My entire family played on this, my son, my daughter, my wife, and I. It was a LAN server that I had running for quite a while. We had a lot of fun, but you know what? It's a couple gigabytes in size. We're not going to play on, play on it anymore, so it's time to say goodbye. So I'm just going to record this to, well, partly to share with you guys what I had been up to when I first started playing modded Minecraft, but mainly as a way to keep the memory alive, I suppose. This was a project that I never got around to finishing it. This was going to be my real craft slash Steve's carts building. Um, you know, I have a, uh, a rolling machine here and a carpenter here. I made a, uh, a couple rails, nothing special, just pretty standard. And there's supposed to be a, yeah, a steam locomotive there. This actually goes over to my wife's base. I don't know where this one goes. Actually, these go over to my wife's base, and this one goes just to an unfinished rail line that I had made going north. This village, long ago, ah, lost uh, all its inhabitants. <laughs> uh... I don't know why there's a giant mushroom here. I don't remember growing that. That's kind of funny. Okay, let's start down at my power plant. This was a little sawmill building that I made that I just never took down. And this power plant is just huge and sprawling, and I didn't really build it up. I just sort of expanded it. Up there, uh, there are some water mills. Actually, let me start with the outside of it. So if there's some water mills, here's some uh, some basic solar panels. Nothing special. Up here are uh, some of the wind turbines, and you can see over here are some of the red power uh, blue-tricity windmills that uh, long ago lost, um, lost the, uh, not the propellers, you know what I'm talking about, the big spinny thingies. Uh, there's my farm down there. Up there is my nether portal. Let's go inside my power plant. I think we'll start over here. Now, a lot of this stuff is going to be just silly and excessive and just <laughs> downright crazy, but... I never watched any tutorials, I did very little reading on the wiki, so I really didn't know what was going on. But on top of this building, I have a bunch of blue-tricity solar panels, a bunch, as you can see. And I think over here, inside here, I think I have some, yeah, some thermal piles down there. Now, inside this first little building here is all of my MJ production. I have Blutricity engines over here. I had some, uh, are these peat-fired? Yeah, these are peat-fired engines for uh, when I needed an extra boost. Those have been there for a really long time. Over here, I have some steam engines. And honestly, after I had these running, the rest of the stuff didn't really matter. Over here, I have redstone energy conduit. 
the item tesseract or the energy tesseract uh i ended up that's one of the more recent additions that runs my quarry and you can see that all these pipes actually ah, go down underground and i have a crazy network of pipes and wires that go over to my workshop up here there's my steam boiler it's the largest steam boiler you can make it's all low pressure and it runs on fuel and when I assembled this thing it has not been shut off since it has it has run continuously once I had a big supply of fuel I fed it the fuel and uh, you can and uh, just turn it on you can see I got steam running to uh, few different a couple different locations this steam over here powers oh wait a second here you know what I don't know oh okay I, I think I know what's going on wait no I don't <laughs> why do I have three this one goes over here and runs oh okay I have two separate pipes going over yeah to this guy this pipe powers these guys I don't know why I did it that way I don't remember. Here's my magma crucible that I have a supply of, ooh, or kept a supply of nether rack in. And as we come over here, here was my uh, EU production. And uh, yeah, I realize a lot of this is just kind of silly. What I did was I experimented with a lot of different things, just seeing what worked and what works best and I never really took any of it down so here is my very first generator that I had running here is a biodiesel running on biofuel semi-fluid generator on creosote oil semi-fluid generator on seed oil and this is a geothermal generator so both these get and there's my thermal generator so both these guys are running off of lava which is being piped over here from my uh, magma crucible if we come over here this is all of my fluid storage so I got fuel oil creosote oil biomass biofuel seed oil and these guys are all full because they're being fed from somewhere else some of them have little pipes coming out but not going anywhere and uh, what these are for was my wife or one of my kids could come over here and pop down a portable tank and get whatever they needed to get on these uh, wooden pipes what oh look at that my quarry is actually still running <laughs> I haven't fired this uh, the server up in months and uh, the quarry's still going. That's pretty funny. Oh, there's my turtles. There's Dash and Mudkip. All right, let's head over to my workshop. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know if my daughter did this. I don't remember doing that. Very colorful. Here's the entrance. This red brick here was basically just a buffer, um, so I didn't have any, you know, monsters waiting at my front door here. I guess that was my thinking. I don't really know. There used to be a snow golem back behind here, but he died from a skeleton, I think. And here is where the magic happened. This was my workshop, and uh, I was quite proud of it. Over here, I got most of my industrial craft things. Over here, I have my uh, multi-block or medium voltage devices. Over here, I have all the stuff that ran on MJ, so all the stuff that ran on Buildcraft. And here's a dummy. I'm going to miss you, buddy. <laughs> this was the first Thomcraft golem that I made. 
And I didn't know what was going on. I knew that he was going to harvest crops, but when I popped him down, all he did was run around smashing things. Didn't pick anything up. I didn't realize that you had to make a smart golem to actually, uh, you know, replant your crops or do anything useful. But he was my first golem, so I stuck him in here, and that's where he's lived, and he's kept me company inside my workshop. Over here, uh, this is a big railcraft steam oven. You can hear one of my other golems uh, doing his job there. There's a couple portals. I'm not even sure where these guys go. If we come out here, here is my peat bog, and it looks like it's even ready to harvest. Or, yeah, it has to be. Oh, yep, there it goes. And it was so cool. I remember when I first had this all, all of this set up, watching this peak come out, and it was just amazing. I'm like, oh man, look at all that energy. I really miss these blocks. I understand why they discontinued them in forestry, because it was pretty overpowered. And as we come out here... Oops. I'm not sure why my game keeps doing that. Of course it's raining. Sorry guys, I don't want to... I don't want to deal with the rain. So we're going to miss some particles here. Here is a tree farm, or a, a one of the multi-block farms that I made. And you can see I actually have steam coming out from here. So this actually comes clear from my workshop and it powers this steam oven and also comes up here to power a steam engine to power this farm. And this farm is actually just a fruit farm. There's some cherry trees, uh, walnut and chestnut, and it shakes out the fruit, sends it down this pipe, and I'll show you where that goes in just a minute. Huh. That's amazing, I missed that ore. Well, by the time I made all that, I probably didn't care because I had my quarry up and running. Uh, I have uh, lots of different ender chests around here, but there is a reason to it. The first is this pink one. This was actually a little mailbox that I made for my wife. Because her base is pretty far away, so she has a matching ender chest where she needed something. Or if I found something I didn't need, I'd throw it in there for her. Man, he's doing something down here. Now, over here, if you look, there's actually a bunch of diamond pipes and stuff behind there. This is where all the useful stuff comes from my quarry. I gotta see what's going on here. Boy, that was annoying. <laughs> I wasn't ready to show that off yet. Okay, this, this is the end of the line for all of my storage, basically. Everything gets sorted out. So all my iron implements I stick in here. Copper and bronze, tin. So the ore automatically gets put in here, and then I just uh, throw it in the macerator or the industrial grinder by myself. Um... And then I have all my different gems, and Zycraft, Thomcraft uh, gems, and things like that. Miscellaneous ores all got dumped into here. This was all my EU production stuff. Here's all my redstone stuff. This is usually mainly uh, computer craft and... Uh, Andy Logger, what is that? Oh, that was a program. A uh, logging program, I think, that I put on that guy. There's Caboose. And link. So computer craft, build craft stuff goes in here, and all of my blutricity related things went in this chest here by the uh, the alloy furnace. Oh, I started to tell you about my um, my ender chest, ender chests. So that one was my wife's. This one I have in multiple locations. This is the start of my sorting system, so my quarry also feeds into here. And then if I had stuff I just needed sorted, I come over here. And throw it in there, and I probably shouldn't have done that. The blue one was my death chest, basically. I had a matching ender pouch 
that I would always have on me uh, and keep anything that I didn't want to lose if I died in here. So there's my portal guns. And interesting enough, I never actually killed a wither. I found all of these in chests in uh, Mistcraft Ages. The black one, I don't remember what I used that for. Ah, come in here for a second. And you saw a glimpse of this. Now the sulfur torches are all up here because they drop the sulfur goo, which this guy would pick up. Hi there. Throw in the chest and it would get sorted. You can see the pipes come up here, and then they eventually, uh, from here it goes over, I think it goes over to the chest from there, it gets sorted. Anything that doesn't get sorted comes over here to this router, which is hooked up to the barrels. Quite a bit of stuff in here, and I, yeah, I even expanded it up this way a bit. Aluminum block, and stone. I never actually killed the Ender Dragon either. We were planning on doing that as a, uh, a family thing, and we just never got around to it. The reason this guy is here is because I never used any of the pneumatic tubes. I always used the build craft pipes, and if something hits to the end of the line, or, you know, it couldn't get sorted in here for some reason or another, it would get popped, it would, you know, it would spit it out on the ground. Well, he would pick anything up like that and stick it in the chest. And also he would pick up these, uh, the sulfur goo from these guys. As we descend further, this was the first area that I quarried out. So there's nothing below us, it's just straight to bedrock. Here is the start of my sorting system, and this was a bit of a buffer chest. So I guess, uh, yeah, my quarry's still going somewhere. Pretty, uh, pretty cool. This was all actually, uh, done by turtles. I had turtles, uh, very early on and had them excavating, excavating, I'm sorry. So this was all hollowed out by turtles. A legion of my turtles. Alright, and as we go down here, here is my liquid production area. These are the largest tanks, uh, iron tanks, that you can build. Here is my oil. And actually, if we come around to the back end of it... Uh, I don't know why I put this on the back end. There's an ender tank that uh, I would just go around the world, stick my pump over a, uh, an oil geyser, and the other matching end of this ender tank would be there. This was before I knew about item and liquid tesseracts. That's why you see this redstone energy stuff. I didn't realize about energy tesseracts or item tesseracts. So the oil... Whoa, that was weird. The oil comes over to the refinery where it's turned into fuel, pumped to there. Or to there, I'm sorry. This is creosote oil getting pumped out by these guys here. Here is my fermenter, which is being fed from uh, some auto farms, which I will show you in a minute. And it's actually way too efficient. <laughs> or, I mean, that's not the word I'm looking for. My farms produce too much product for the fermenter to handle. I should have actually had a couple fermenters going. But, yeah, you know, it doesn't really matter. Over here is the still that... My uh, biomass gets converted into biofuel. The biofuel is now called ethanol, I believe, on the 1.52. And here, the uh, all the the nuts and cherries from the fruit farm up there gets pumped into my squeezer here and gets turned into seed oil over here. Okay, let's head back up to the surface. Nope, not that way. Yeah, boy, you'd think I would have memorized this place by now. I'm going to run over and show the auto farm stuff. And of course it's still raining. Why wouldn't it be? I'll get to that stuff down there. Lots of uh, sort of unfinished project uh, projects. So here are some auto farms. We got some wheat 
sugarcane and cactus and these are all run by the uh, the old school um, forestry harvesters that are no longer available so I've got some uh, energy conduits that all run out to the different farm blocks and everything is powered by some solar arrays and that wind turbine on this uh, blue electric engine so this was sort of the outermost layer or outermost region of what I consider my uh, my property now over here was uh, I was going to completely tear this down and start over with it. I never this was going to be sort of a trophy room, I suppose. But the only real trophy that I put in it was a uh, the Minishroom's axe. We were going to um as a family take down the different bosses in the games and put them all here as trophies. But you can see that uh that didn't really happen. This was my yeah, there's my peat farm again. And up here somewhere yeah, this was my first little auto farm. It was a uh, just a little wheat farm that I had that I abandoned a while ago. And at the same time, I used to have a a forestry tree farm going right here. But I didn't need it anymore. Let's go up this way. This um, strange looking floating dreidel. <laughs> uh, this was my little Thomcraft building. So I, uh, I dabbled in the dark arts up here. What else? What am I missing? Oh, that little building over there it was the start of my library. So I had an enchanting table, and this is where I uh, played around with Mistcraft. And that's why you saw these uh, these villagers here, too. I had my portal gun, and I'm, I was going around looking for these villagers that would trade pages. And I would uh, have a portal set up here, and then the other uh, end of it I would shoot under their feet to uh, transport them. So, they're my prisoners. I guess that's about all of my base. Yeah, I think that was about it. What I would like to do is just real quick like jump into the twilight forest. My daughter had the start of a base in here. She never really got real far with it. There's a, a bed out in the middle of nowhere with a block on top of it. She captured a deer that she kept as a pet. Over here was a little farm she had going on. Not sure what's going on in here. Oh, there's her armor, her fireplace. Here was a little house that she had. Yeah, real basic stuff. She only had the bat box to charge her jetpack, basically. And her dogs are supposed to be here. Have they not loaded in? Hmm, that's a little weird. She's supposed to have uh, three puppy dogs sitting here. Looks like she has another little farm over here. I think she has a few other little buildings. But mainly, when she would log in, she would run around my base and steal my food. 
I would show you my son's base, but he never really had one. He just kind of had a hole in the ground that he had a few things in, and to be honest, I have no idea where it's at. So I am going to go to my wife's base really quick. And here we have many tortured animals brought here against their will by use of a gravity gun. <laughs> and here is my wife's house, which always confused me. I could never really uh, navigate it properly. There's some dogs in the stairs for some reason. This is me nosing through her things. And I, I have no idea. Oh, there's another area here. Yeah, this place confuses and scares me. I don't like it. But she never really spent a whole lot of time there. Because back here a ways was her workshop. Ow. It always irritated me. She actually has several oil spots around here and she never uh, never did anything with them. So here's her workshop. She has a, a similar system to me. She never had a quarry, but she did have a turtle somewhere. And she has one of these little guys. So, um, crazy, crazy barrel system here. Wow. Holy cow! <laughs> That's funny. And then over here was a, a very modest little power production and machinery area. And this is kind of cool. And she wanted to grab stuff from storage and bring it over here. Just a uh, tiny little, tiny little rail system. Nothing fancy. I'm not really sure what's going on in this room, but it's uh, very blue. <laughs> Okay, well, that's pretty much everything there is to see. I am sad to see this place go, but we are moving on to bigger and definitely better things. This whole map got me started on modern Minecraft, like I said, and it's definitely given me the basis for everything. There was a lot of stuff that I never finished here that I wanted to do, but I'm hoping to get it done in the newer the newer mod packs, the newer versions, and the series that I have started. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed, and thank you for letting me share this with you.